Hello friends, welcome to Dreamweaver Crocheting with Love. In today's tutorial, I am going to teach you how to make this quick and easy tassels. So let's see what our materials are needed in order to make them. Scissors, few beads so as to decorate the tassel or as I have done over here. Tapestry needle and any colored yarn as per your choice. In order to start up with the tassel, initially we will be winding up this yarn around our hand about 20 times. So once you are done with that, just cut off the yarn and just slowly remove it from your hand and holding the top portion, cut it through the bottom in this manner. Now place the yarns on a table in this way. Now we will be needing about uh, 2 pieces of uh, yarn, uh, say about a length of 10 cm. So I'll just cut out two pieces. Now placing this uh, yarn on the bottom and place these strands so that it lies in the center. Now tie tight knots. Now using this another piece of yarn, we'll place it in this way and tie it around this portion. So once this is done, we shall level up the yarns on the bottom part. So our tassel is done. Now in order to further decorate it, we can put uh, beads on the top portion. Now here you can see I put the strands into my uh, needle. So I put the beads on the strand and I will just pull this yarn and tie knots so that the beads doesn't come out. So here our tassel is done. So isn't it quick and easy? You can uh, use this uh, tassel for various uh, crochet projects like uh, hanging it around the edges of baby blankets. Also uh, while making the tie ups for uh, bonnets or shrugs, you can just hang it on ends of both the tie ups. I'll show you one of my crochet projects in which I've used this tassel. So you can see in this uh, baby shrug, I have uh, just attached these tassels on the end of the cords in order to make it more attractive. Now this seems to be more fluffier because I have uh, wrapped the yarn more number of times. And uh, in case if you want it to be sleeker, you can just make it like this by wrapping the yarn about 20 times around your hand. So either way, the procedure remains the same. But uh, you will get either a fluffier uh, tassel or a sleeker tassel depending upon how many times you wrap the yarn around your hand. Uh, so that's all for today's tutorial. I hope you found this tutorial really very really useful as well as interesting too. In case of any queries, please let me know through comments. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.